Do you remember those Resident Evil movies that nobody gives a shit about? Except, except me. The Resident Evil game franchise was also heading that way, with shooting and action-packed scenes and lots of explosions. It's as if Michael Bay actually directed all these games, which he clearly didn't. But ever since Resident Evil 7, the game has shifted directions and now it's going towards survival horror which Resident Evil was all about. It also brought for the first time a first-person perspective where people initially thought that it would be the worst thing that Resident Evil ever did but turns out to be the best thing that Resident Evil ever did. Even though it was a wonderful setting, I still had questions. For example, why did Mia go out into the middle of this forest, into this house? Why? And second of all, after all this time, now you're looking for your wife? What happened all these years, man? Banging someone else. Anyway, Mia and Ethan went through hell in that game. We smacked Mia so many times and she also smacked us so many times that by the end of the game, I had to choose someone else over my own wife. Yeah, because Chloe over here, she was much better than you, Mia. Look, at least she didn't attack me, she was helping me. I mean, it's not always about the looks, Mia. It's also about the substance. After two years of classic remakes of Resident Evil, we are finally back into the continuation of the Resident Evil franchise and that is Resident Evil 8 Village. Resident Evil 8 will continue the story of Ethan and his... Wait a second! Mia? I, I didn't choose you to live! I clearly chose Chloe to live! It was not... No, what? So yes, Mia is by your side now. I hope she doesn't kill me again. But you're living peacefully after everything that has happened and Mia, well, she hasn't changed a bit, has she? She's talking about these creepy stories, I'm telling you. She is still the one. She is still gonna kill you, Ethan. Get out of there. Okay, moving on. After these guys went through hell in the first game, the story or the life of Ethan will change and will go in a dramatic drift because of Chris Redfield, who also appeared in Resident Evil 7. Oh my god, that face. My god, he looks so much better here. So he comes to Ethan's house and kills Mia right in front of Ethan. Chris is definitely a villain, right? Even though Chris had been a good guy in previous Resident Evil games, we still can't say if he is the bad guy in this game, even though there is a poster literally with blood stains on his face and it actually looks like he's the villain. So with this horrific event that happened, Ethan tries to find Chris and ends up in this unknown location of a village. And the biggest thing about this game which is different than that of Resident Evil 7 is giving more freedom to the players to move around and find things by yourself. Now this thing was not there in Resident Evil 7. You can move around inside the baker's house, you can move around in their own backyard, but you cannot move beyond that. But Resident Evil 8 Village, you see this whole big village. So you can move around this village, try to find puzzles, solve those puzzles, maybe get some hints. What more they have changed is how the game looks. Visually, it looks a lot different than that of Resident Evil 7. More crisp and more details than ever. The facial animation is also on point and very detailed. And more importantly, the lighting in this game is so much different. Overall, it looks more beautiful and scary at the same time. There are definitely zombies, but there's more than that, and that is werewolves. This time around, addition of werewolves is somewhat perfect. I mean, don't get me wrong, zombies in Resident Evil 7, they were amazing, but werewolves... They are a different thing. Well, we still don't know who this huge werewolf is. Maybe Hugh Jackman returned. Didn't think he will return in this way. But one thing we do know is how this game will have more action than Resident Evil 7. But not only that, there will be more horror. Also, by looking at the trailer, apparently we have witches. So I guess this game is a lot different than Resident Evil 7. Do whatever you want, witches. Just don't try to seduce me. I mean, I know the producer have said that you are becoming like Ethan as if you're playing him. I, at that point, I just don't want to feel what he is feeling. Okay, that's, not, that's gross. We are no longer inside a mansion. We are now in an open world-ish environment. So it would be very interesting to see how the horrors are going to get us. Although we do know that we wander around nights because that's what the trailer showed and some of the gameplay showcases showed. So it is going to be very, very scary because it looks really scary because you're in this forest and forests are always scary. We also had a good look at the gameplay elements. Of course, the first person perspective is back, which is incredible. We also saw the inventory look, which is so much similar to that of Resident Evil 4. A very clean and big inventory because this time we are carrying a suitcase. A big plus, Ethan. A big plus. We don't have a lot of details, but we do know is that the story is entirely focused on Ethan. It's a true continuation of Ethan's chapter that started in Resident Evil 7 with Chris being a part of it. Sorry, Ethan. 
Now the debate is still going around whether Chris is actually the villain because there's so much going around here. That is the best thing about Resident Evil games when you don't know what exactly is going on. This game is coming out on next gen console as well as PC and the producers have promised that there will be no loading times. Well that goes to the next gen consoles because they have also been promising no loading times, SSDs but maybe it can also happen to PC, who knows? They have definitely taken Resident Evil 8 into much higher heights, learning from Resident Evil 7 and making it a true sequel of the game. Unfortunately, we don't have anything else about the game even though they did show a symbol that they want us to take a deep look into and it's very hard to guess because I don't know exactly everything about Resident Evil. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna guess at all. Well, I gotta say I'm very much looking forward to Resident Evil 8 Village. Why? Well, I did answer that in the video, didn't I? Why are you not listening? Okay, you know what? I'll, I'll say again. Basically, it's more open world, it's more scary, it's more action packed, it's more big and there's some crazy story happening around which makes me more 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 excited. Well, in the end, that's what they have promised. Not sure, sure if that's what they're gonna deliver. We just have to wait and see. This might sound weird but um, I like watching Resident Evil 7 E3 reveal. I don't know, the crowd there was mm, perfect and the reveal was beautiful. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a like if you did, leave a dislike if you didn't. Comment down below what do you think about this very video and what do you think about Resident Evil 8. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye and have a good one.